In this video, we'll take you on a journey to explore the massive structures that are responsible for extracting oil from deep beneath the ocean. Join us as we showcase the most colossal and complex engineering projects ever built on water. Keshegan Field Alright folks, let's talk about the Keshegan Field. This baby was discovered back in 2010, and let me tell you, it made some serious headlines. Why, you ask? Well, because it's the largest oil discovery in the world in the past 30 years. Can you believe it? At the time of its discovery, it was the second biggest oil field on the planet, nestled in the pre-Caspian Basin. Now, this massive rig started production in 2013 and is expected to keep pumping oil until at least 2040. It's estimated to have around 13 billion barrels of recoverable reserves, but drilling here isn't easy, folks. The water is super shallow and there are high levels of hydrogen sulfide. Plus, the weather can be brutal with sea ice during the winter. But the main development on this site, Island D, has 12 oil wells and is connected by a barge called Vivaldi. There are roughly 5,000 workers living on that thing. Coming in at number 9, the Lula Oil Field. This one is located in the Santos Basin, about 160 miles off the coast of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. When it was discovered back in 2006, it was considered the biggest oil find in the Western Hemisphere in the last 30 years. Impressive, right? Currently, the Lula field produces 922,000 barrels per year, with a whopping 7.5 billion barrels of recoverable oil. Petrobus operates the field with a controlling stake of 65%, while the BG Group holds 25% and the Gelt Energia holds the remaining 10%. The Lula field is expected to transform Brazil into a global oil giant, thanks to all that black gold just waiting to be pumped out of the ground. Fun fact, it was previously known as the Tupi oil field, but the name was changed in 2010. Right now, it's one of the biggest producing ultra-deep water oil and gas fields in the world. Pretty cool, huh? Number 8. P55 Brazil The P55 oil platform in Brazil. This bad boy is the biggest semi-submersible platform project in all of Brazil and has been pumping out black gold since 2013 in the Campos Basin's Roncador field. This thing can produce up to 180,000 barrels of oil per day. The Brazilian federal government invested almost a billion dollars in this unit, so you know it's got to be something special. The deck alone weighs 17,000 tons, and when you add everything up, this platform weighs over a whopping 105,000 tons. It took years for the technology to be developed solely by Petrova Senpai's research center, but now the semi-submersible unit sits comfortably in water 5,900 feet deep. And hey, it's not alone out there. It's got P-52 and P-54 working alongside it too. Number 7. Bullwinkle Bullwinkle oil platform located in the Gulf of Mexico in the Green Canyon Block 65, about 160 miles southwest of New Orleans. This thing is a true behemoth, standing tall at 736 feet, with a whopping at 1,352 feet of that below the surface of the water. It's a fixed steel platform supported by piles, installed back in 1988. At the time it was built, it was the third tallest freestanding structure ever constructed. The jacket, the part of the platform that submerged underwater, cost an estimated $500,000 million to construct and was built by marine gulf fabricators from 1985 to 1988. It was built in Ingleside, Texas at the North Yard location, and then had to be transported out to sea by way of barge. And get this, folks. The jacket was the second tallest object ever moved, next to the trolley platform. Number 6. Middle Plata The Middle Plata oil field in Germany is a force to be reckoned with. Not only is it the largest oil field in Germany, but it also boasts one of the biggest oil rigs in the world. Located in the environmentally important Schleswig-Holstein Wadensee National Park's Tidal Flats, this field accounts for nearly 65% of Germany's crude oil reserves and has already produced over 146 million barrels of oil. With 18 production wells in the western part of the field, the Mittelplatte field is owned by Winter Scheldy who has set international standards for drilling in environmentally sensitive areas by using a closed-cycle disposable system. By doing so, the field ensures there's no negative impact in the Vatten Sea nor the North Sea, minimizes shipping traffic, and limits light and noise emissions to protect the sensitive fauna in the area. Number 5. Benguela, Belize, Lobito, Tambaco The Benguela, Belize, Lobito, Tambaco in Angola while Angola may not be the first place that comes to mind when you think of oil, this oil rig is one of the tallest in the world. Situated in the lower Congo Basin, approximately 60 miles offshore in the Cabinda coast, the platform is in water that's 1,200 feet deep. Owned and operated by Chevron Corporation, this oil rig is the first compliant tower in Africa and boasts the world's largest single-piece pile ever installed. But that's not all. 
The top sides operated by Chevron are so massive that they take up an area that's equivalent to roughly at two and a half football fields. And to support these top sides, a large compliant pile tower stands in 1,200 feet of water. The rig also has living quarters for 157 people and has a design life of 25 years. Number four, Perdido. The Perdido rig, or the lost one, is the world's deepest floating oil rig. Owned by Shell, it sets at a water depth of over 8,000 feet and began production in 2010, producing a whopping 100,000 barrels of oil equivalent and 200 million cubic feet of gas per day at its peak. The rig has three topsides, living quarters, oil and gas processing units, and 35 subsea wells connected by 27 miles of pipelines, requiring 172 workers to keep it running. The rig had to be built in Finland and brought to the Gulf of Mexico using computer-guided lasers to ensure precision. Number 3. Petronius The Petronius rig is the tallest freestanding oil platform and one of the tallest freestanding structures in the world, standing over 2,000 feet tall. Located in the Petronius field in the Gulf of Mexico, it extracts 60,000 barrels of oil and 100 million cubic feet of natural gas per day. Built between 1997 and 2000, the field it's in was discovered in 1995 and has an estimated recoverable reserve of 80 to 100 million barrels of oil equivalent. Chevron and Marathon Oil operate it, and it cost around $500 million to build. The rig is designed to flex with strong winds and hurricanes and was able to withstand several hurricanes, including Hurricane Katrina. However, it had to undergo repairs after Hurricane Ivan hit it hard, but all the workers were taken to safety. Number 2. Troll A The Troll A platform is a massive oil rig located off the coast of Norway in the Troll gas field. And get this, it's not only the largest offshore gas platform, but also holds the Guinness World Record. The platform was given the title in 1996. It's also the tallest structure ever moved to another position. It's the second heaviest object that has ever been moved by mankind, making it one of the most complex engineering projects in history. This thing is a con-deep, gravity-based structure, and it stands on four legs, each of which extends 994 feet down to the sea floor. To give you an idea of how tall this rig is, it's 600 feet taller than the Eiffel Tower, and it weighs a whopping 683,000 tons. That's like 6,830 blue whales put together. Oh, and did I mention that it takes a 9-minute elevator ride to reach the seabed from the surface of the water? Crazy, right? Number 1. Burkett Number 1 on our list is the Burkett Oil Rig, which is officially the biggest oil rig in the world. This beast is located in the Sea of Okhotsk, just north of Japan on the Russian Pacific coast, and it weighs a massive 200,000 tons. The rig was specifically built for the Akutundagi field, which is a massive field that spans over 60 square kilometers and has 72 million tons of recoverable oil reserves. Burkett means golden eye in Russian, and it's no wonder considering its massive size. This rig is 344 feet long, 196 feet wide, and has a height of 472 feet. That's like stacking almost four blue whales on top of each other. And get this, the rig is expected to extract a whopping 4.5 million tons of oil every year, which is like filling up 150 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Which oil rig impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you learned something from this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell for more videos like this.